In this lesson, we are going to discuss price controls. A price ceiling is a government-imposed price control or limit on how high a price is charged for a particular product. Government gets involved and puts a cap on price in an attempt to improve market outcomes. So by putting a cap on price, government lowers price. And we know when price goes down, quantity supplied will go down and quantity demanded will increase. This line is called a price ceiling. For it to be binding or effective, it must be below the equilibrium price. The price cannot go above the ceiling. Keyword, once again, cannot go above the ceiling. This is good for consumers, but not good for producers, because this will result in a shortage. Ceilings could lead to price increases eventually bringing price and quantity back to equilibrium. A price floor is a government-imposed price control to ensure prices stay high so that the product can continue to be made. So government will increase prices and prices go up. Quantity demanded will go down and our quantity supplied will increase. This line is referred to as a price floor and for it to be binding or effective it must be set above equilibrium price. Now imagine a basement. You cannot go through the floor. Once again, imagine a basement. You cannot go through the floor. Consumers find that they must now pay a higher price for the same product. As a result, consumers reduce their purchases or drop out of the market. Meanwhile, suppliers find they are guaranteed a new higher price than what they were charging before and as a result they increase their production. This will result in a surplus. Floors could lead to price decreases eventually bringing both price and quantity back to equilibrium. 